everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back, you guys. Oh my goodness, I feel like it's been forever, and I have to apologize. I was a very, very busy bee last week. As some of you know, I do a little bit of acting, just a touch, and my film that I'm starring in is called Madhouse Mecca. We got selected for the Beverly Hills Film Festival, and I had to be on the red carpet, and we ended up winning Best Editor at the festival, which is super, super exciting. Um, so yes, I apologize for my absence, but I was a little preoccupied. But anyway, that's not why we're here today, because today is going to be the first recipe that I'm trying that one of you has sent in. So my friend, Jesse sent me a recipe for vegan cauliflower soup. Uh, I love cauliflower. I think it's so healthy for you, so I'm really excited to try this. And thank you so much, Jesse, for sending the recipe in. I'm looking forward to having a taste, and I'm sure you guys are looking forward to it as well. So let's go over our ingredients. Um, we're not going to need the spoon yet. <laughs> um, we have two potatoes here, which I probably could peel more, you know, no one's perfect. Uh, it calls for a half, a half a clove, right? Half a clove of garlic. So we're going to do that. A half a head of cauliflower, which I have a couple brown spots here, but if you have a few brown spots on your cauliflower, just, just cut them off. It's no big deal. Um, an onion, and it calls for olive oil, but I'm going to use coconut oil for this one. It also calls for a can of coconut milk, but I have this coconut beverage milk from Trader Joe's. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to read the ingredients on this one, but this is all I've got, so that's what we're going to work with. And we also have this organic vegetable stock. She calls for vegetable broth, but I think this will do, I think this will do the trick. Um, it's also going to need some oregano, and some black pepper, and some salt. So, shall we get started? All of your ingredients are going to need to be prepped. Uh, we're going to chop up the cauliflower a bit, we're going to dice up the onion, we're going to chop up the garlic very finely, we're going to cut up these potatoes, and we are going to boil them along with the cauliflower. So make sure you do your prep first, and then we're going to get started. Okay, so now that we are all prepped and ready to go, we have our onions chopped, we've got our... Now that we are all prepped and ready to go, we have our garlic chopped, our onions chopped, our potatoes chopped, our cauliflower chopped, brains! Sorry, I had to do it. Don't they look like brains though? They really do. And they're good for your brains, actually. So anyway, it is super sticky between that garlic and those onions. I need to get this stuff cooking to alleviate this smell from my apartment. Um, so yeah, here we go. So the first thing this recipe calls for is to take our onions and saute them in the soup pan. So let's take our onions and throw them in there now. Ta-da! Ta-da, ta-da. Okay, onions are in the pan. I've got to get a spoon really quick. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of olive oil, but we are using coconut oil, so I'm going to kind of eyeball this with my spoon really quick here. Ugh. All right. Big fat scoop in, in the pot. Very graceful. And another one. I'm throwing a coconut oil around literally. Okay, that should be good enough. So we're gonna put this on a low heat. Okay, so I'm gonna look back on my handy dandy notebook right here. So saute the onion and the olive oil, which we're using coconut oil. Oh, and the garlic. So we have lots of garlic here. She calls for half a clove of garlic. Is that what it is? Or is the clove just the little guy? A bulb. Half a bulb of garlic. Thanks. 
Okay, so we're putting all of this in here. We're gonna saute this for about five minutes. You don't wanna overdo it because the garlic, you don't want it to get brown. I guess it messes with the flavor. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so we have sauteed our onions and our garlic in some oil for about five minutes. The next step we're gonna do is add the vegetable stock or vegetable broth and the cauliflower. She is calling for three cups of vegetable broth, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Whoa, splashing all around. Okay, we've got our broth in there. Now we are going to add our cauliflower. Woo! Okay, and we are going to let this simmer until the cauliflower is nice and soft. You want it as soft as possible because we are going to be blending this. So use your judgment, give it a little poke here and there to see how soft it is. And we're gonna take it from there. Actually, backing up for just a moment, and I literally just dumped the cauliflower and vegetable stock into this pan. I'm going to add my potatoes as well. Um, when she wrote out the recipe to me, it called for about a fourth a cup of potatoes, and I'm assuming that that's mashed. So this would look like about a cup of potatoes, which I think once mashed would equal about a fourth cup. So we're going to let those potatoes cook with the cauliflower because I believe they will probably uh, acquire the right amount of softness together. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so now everything is nice and squishy in the pot. It's been simmering and it is ready to be pureed. Now the recipe calls for a hand mixer or hand blender. I unfortunately do not have one of those. It's something I'm gonna have to invest in eventually here. So I'm gonna have to put the cauliflower and this whole mixture into my rinky-dink little food processor over here, my little baby ninja. So it's gonna take a minute. So I'm gonna throw everything into the ninja and get back to you guys after everything has been pureed. <laughs> okay, so I have put everything through my little ninja over here. It smells delicious and I'm not even done and it already tastes delicious. So she's calling for a little bit of uh, coconut milk. She says a can of coconut milk. I don't really know what that looks like. I know I have some coconut stuff over here. So uh, because I don't have a can, I'm gonna put just maybe like a half a cup of this coconut in there for flavor. I feel like the consistency of the soup is really good the way it is right now. Um, we're gonna throw that in there. We do have the soup on a bit of a simmer at the moment. So we're gonna keep that simmering. We're gonna add some salt to taste. Going in with the salt, that should be good. Two pinches for me. A dash of pepper, maybe two, or three, or four. And we have our oregano. Oh, this isn't open yet. One moment, please. And the oregano is now open. So we'll give a little sprinkly dew. Um, she says it's oregano to taste, so I would say sort of put some in there, give it a stir, see how you feel about it as we are still simmering here. I'm going to let that sit for, I don't know, a few minutes while it simmers and then have a taste and see how we feel about it. Okay, moment of truth. I have put some of this soup into a little bowl. I am going to have a taste and see how I feel about it. Make sure you don't burn your tongue. Blow on the spoon if you have to. Not sure if it really works, but we're gonna do it anyway. Wow, like, Seriously, wow. This soup, 
Wow, Jesse, thank you so much for sending in this recipe. A plus plus for you. You guys definitely have to try this. It's absolutely wonderful. She's given me a couple tips. Um, once you've done once you've done everything we've done here, she says you can put some curry in it if you want. She said she added zucchini one time, some sriracha. It really just depends on your flavor. But this soup right here, this vegan cauliflower soup as a base, is perfectly delightful on its own. What wonderful flavor it really does have. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously going to be addicted. So you guys, please send me your recipes because this is something I want to try doing. I want to be uh, making recipes that you guys are sending in because I want to spread all the good healthy eating out there into the world. I think it's so important that we all try to be healthy to our bodies. If you're healthy to your body, it's healthy for your soul and healthy for your mind. So yeah, let me know if you guys try this recipe. I'm going to leave the link to Jessie's Instagram in the description below. Also the link to my Instagram if you'd like to follow me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be good to yourself. Enjoy all the food you eat. Eat healthy. Do all the good things. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Mwah. <laughs>